Morning guys, today's archery tip of the day is about what you're wearing on your fingers and its effect on the arrow downrange. I see a lot of guys uh, that are shooting that are, their arrows left of the center line of where they want to shoot. And they think, well these arrows are stiff but they're, they're spined for the, the bow that I'm shooting. I've often taken their bow and then put the tip of the arrow on the dot and, and, uh, and shoot them and just let them group in their dead center. And what they were doing is, it wasn't that the, the arrows were not spined correctly, but it was where they were getting the arrow on anchor uh, in, in uh, consideration of their eye. And that is they were right of the center of their eye for right-handed shooters or left of the center of their eye for left-handed shooters. And it'll cause left-handed shooters to shoot right, right-handed shooters to shoot left. Uh, when you anchor, if you're not getting the arrow underneath the eye, so you're getting in close enough to your face that the arrow lines up right under your eye, then the arrow is angled to the left. So if the knock is right at the center of the eye, the, the point is off to the left. And you're gonna have to do something to bring that over. Obviously, if you're shooting a plunger, it's pretty easy. You can, uh, a couple of clicks of the plunger, you can move the arrow back left. With, um, if you're shooting off the shelf, uh, then you're gonna have to add point weight to weaken the spine of the arrow to bring it back right. But then, of course, you're moving the arrow right at a certain distance. So if I add point weight and I shoot with, uh, with a 125 grain point, I'm shooting stiff every time because I'm out here away from my face, and then I, I end up at a 200 grain point that I'm moving the arrow through. Well, at 10 yards and at 40 yards, that arrow is a moving target. It's coming across because it's, it, it's continuing to move due to the heavy point weakening that spine. So it's just a consideration. I use a tab. A tab really uh, collapses up, so it makes it easier to get into your face further with your hand, which moves the arrow into your face. Uh, if you go to, um, say, a Damascus glove, a Damascus glove is, uh, is a very thin material. It's not overly reinforced. A lot of guys have trouble if they shoot heavy weight bows with them because uh, their fingers still get hurt due to the, uh, the uh, resistance of the string. But they're light, so you tend to get those on and get into the face pretty well. But then you get into these, these uh, reinforced finger stalls, a couple of things happen. Number one, they're stiff, so they don't bend good. So your fingers stay out like that. Now I'm anchoring with my fingers out like this to my face, but my string's over to the right inside the finger stalls, and the arrow then is at an angle. It's not getting that knock into my, under my eye. These are also bulky so even if you get them pretty close in there's a lot of material between your finger and your face so what we're looking at is how we can best center that arrow uh, under the eye if you're having trouble with your impacts of your arrow to the left and you know that your spine is right for your arrow consider where you're getting have someone look at you draw in a mirror take a picture of yourself see if you're lined up under the eye with the arrow we want to get it in here as best as we can. If you look down the arrow, you'll see. If you close one eye, that uh, left eye and look down the arrow, you'll see that the string is right beside your arrow shaft, and you know you're looking down it. Even if you shoot instinctive, both eyes open, it doesn't matter. Your air, your eye is looking to the dot you want to aim at. So it's worth closing your left eye and just looking down the shaft to say, okay, where am I at? If you notice, it's over here then you'll be able to see that the arrow's at just a slight angle from right to left as you look down it. Get that thing straightened up the best you can, and I promise you'll have better results with centering your arrow on the target.